Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are finishing a three-part series called What Sims 4 Packs to Buy. This is the third and final part. If you couldn't tell from the title, this one is What Sims 4 Packs to Buy if you like Cass, aka Create a Sim. Also, here's what the tier list looks like. Honestly, it's pretty different from the previous video. On to the explanations. For the first tier, there are five packs, and the packs are Get Together, Cats and Dogs, Seasons, Discover University, and Eco Lifestyle. For the first pack of the first tier, which is Get Together, the pros are that there are 20 plus new hairstyles. There's lots of stylish, new stylish tops that have a kind of a very modern style and are monotone, so they kind of fit with everything, and that there are new shoes. For the second pack of the first tier, which is cats and dogs, the pros are that you can make cats and dogs and cats. Also, speaking of uh, making pets and cats, there are outfits for your pets, which is the second pro. Um, and you, there are also uh, uh, 20 plus new hairstyles. There are new cute outfits. Um, and basically all the clothes, you know, you use, honestly, personally, like, I use them quite often and you probably will too. And they kind of work with everything, so it's perfect. Um, for the third pack of the first tier, which is Seasons, the pros are that there are two new outfit types, uh, warm weather clothes and cold weather clothes. There are lots of new warm clothes for like, you know, swimsuits and um, crop tops and stuff like that. Um, there's a few new hairstyles, new swimsuits, like I mentioned earlier, um, costumes and new hats. Um, for the fourth pack of the first tier, which is Discover University, the pros are that there are lots of new hairstyles, lots of stylish clothes, new tattoos, and um, piercings are a thing then, or thing as well. For the fifth pack of the first tier, which is Eco Lifestyle, the pros are that there are lots of new hairstyles. I really isn't. I really am using lots a lot, aren't I? I need to find a better descriptive word. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there's new piercings, uh, there's new clothes, um, they kind of, kind of like a thrifty style, like you would find them at like your local thrift store. Um, but yeah, that's it for the first tier, on to the second tier. For the second tier, there is one pack, and the pack is City Living. For the only pack in the second tier, which is City Living, the pros are that there are heaps of cultural clothing. There are new tattoos, some new hairstyles, um, and new shoes. Um, but the one con is that all of the clothes are modern, and if you're, you know, making a sim, it's more like traditional style clothes, um, you know, like late, like if you're making like an era sim, then this won't work for you. Um, but yeah, so that's it for the second tier, on to the third tier. Um, for the third tier, there are two packs, and the packs are Island Living and Snowy Escape. For the first pack of the third tier, which is Island Living, the pros are that there are new hairstyles, that there's new swimwear slash hot weather outfits, that you can make mermaids, and there's a cultural clothing, you know, like Pacific Islander kind of clothing. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're trying to make a sim with a theme, then that, with that specific theme, then it works for you. Um, for the con, or but the con, is that most of the clothes are bright and don't really match any other clothes except each other. So if you're trying to like mismatch or mix match or whatever it is, then that won't work. But yeah, so for the second pack of the third tier, which is Snowy Escape, the pros are that there are a bunch of new hairstyles, new clothes for kids, and new workout outfits. But the con is that uh, most clothes are either for kids or, or for working out. You'll kind of see that most of the cons are also the pros, so... It's kind of just like, a, hey, there's this, but also there's only this, so... Uh, but yeah, that's that's it for the third tier, so on to the fourth tier. For the fourth tier, there are four packs, and the packs are Parenthood, Toddler Stuff, Kids Room Stuff, and Tiny Living Stuff. For the first pack of the fourth tier, which is Parenthood, the pros are that there are loads of new hairstyles and tons of clothes for new for kids and teens. Um, yeah, but the con is that all of the clothes are for kids or teens. Just like I mentioned earlier, with the little disclaimer bit almost. Um, for the second pack of the fourth tier, which is toddler stuff, the pros are that there are lots, lots of new hairstyles um, for toddlers, which I think is something we really need. 
Um, and there are lots of new toddler clothes. Um, but the cons are that it is ten dollars for twenty nine items. Um, also, that um all the clothes are for toddlers. You know, there's nothing. Oh, I mean, it's called toddler stuff. So you know, just pointing out the obvious, capping the obvious for a bit. Um, but yeah, so for the third pack of the fourth tier, which is kids room stuff, the pros are that there are new hairstyles, and that there is new clothes for kids. Um, but the cons are that it is ten dollars for thirty items, um, and all the clothes are for kids. Um, I mean, it's called kids room stuff. You know, I just realized how mo most of this tier is about kids and toddler clothes. I mean, we really do need more clothes for younger Sims, don't we? Even with CC, there really isn't that much. CC creators and Maxis and EA, please get on that. Um, but yeah, so for the fifth or for the fourth pack of the fourth tier, which is Tiny Living, the pros are that there are 13 new hairstyles, there's new jewelry, and there are clo cozy clothes. And honestly, if I didn't have so much CC, I would use these clothes so much more often. They're really cute. Um, but yeah, the con is that it's ten dollars for 32 items. You know, I feel like that's not, that doesn't seem too worth it if you don't like the items. Um. So yeah, that's all for the fourth tier on to the fifth tier. For the fifth tier, just to summarize, since it has like 11 packs in it, each pack has like new hairs or clothes that I think make it worth it to buy the pack. Um, you know, after you buy all the other packs first, you know, of course, and like the other tiers, um, and then you buy these, like if you still had money left and you thought like, you know, liked the clothes and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so that's the fifth tier. But buy it for the buy don't don't buy this tier the summary is that it just adds too little for how much you pay for it like you know because like get famous just for the like kid example um it adds a lot of clothes but just no like no clothes you wouldn't like no clothes you would use actually on your sim unless you were doing something incredibly specific um, but yeah, that's all folks. I hope this helps solve all your pack, world, pack buying problems. This is the last of the little mini series, but I will be posting helpful Sims videos like this about every other week. So if you like these, consider subscribing so you can see those. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and peace.